Hello guys, welcome to second part of the course. In this part, we will be talking about the course objective, right? In this course, we are going to design this motor. You can see the ratings and targets of the design. The output power is equal to one HP point. 75 kilowatt and the synchronous speed is 1500 rpms and also you know because of a sleep we have a lower speed the steady state speed of the Siemens motor when we excite the motor with a 50 hertz supply is 1395 rpms and also the steady state speed, the rated speed of the VEG motor is 14.35 RPMs, right? You can see the rated speed here. So in the design, I will consider 1,400 RPM. We have two mechanical constraints. The outer diameter stator is below uh, 125 actually because we will use a, a standard frame the outer stator diameter should be equal to 125 and the stack length of the motor should be lower than or equal to 70 millimeters the terminal voltage is 400 volts the desired efficiency should be higher than or equal to 72.1%. The efficiency class of these two motors are the same and uh, is actually IE1 efficiency class. You can see IE1 here if I zoom right on green plate of the Siemens motor, you can see the efficiency here IE1 and also the efficiency class for this motor is ie1 you can see the ie code so the efficiency of the siemens motor is 72.1 percent this is the full load efficiency you can see here and also the full load efficiency here 72.3 so the efficiency class is ie1 so uh, also, I considered IE1 here. The desired efficiency should be higher than or equal 72.1%, and the desired power factor is greater than or equal 0.8. So, this is the course objective. We will design an induction motor for these ratings and these mechanical constraints, these characteristics to be able to compare our design with these two existing designs. Here uh, also is interesting if I show you this picture, uh, internal dimensions of the Siemens motor, as you can see here, the stack length is 70 mm, 70 millimeters, and the outer stator diameter is 125. So these are our mechanical constraints and also I explained the electrical parameters of the course objective. So, okay, let's continue from the next video and I will explain the IE efficiency classes and also uh, details about these two mechanical constraints and then we will start the analytic design thanks for watching